This is just such a peaceful place. Beautiful. The water's still lovely waters. G'day, Paul here with my mate Colin and we're sitting down by the creek here, it's called Stoomer's Creek and a beautiful quiet little neck of the woods and we're going to bring a word to you today out of the book of Colossians. Right, this is uh, Colossians 3, uh, first, starting off at verse 16. Let the teachings of Christ and his words keep on living in you. These make your lives rich and full of wisdom. Keep on teaching and helping each other. Sing the songs of David and the church songs and the songs of heaven with hearts full of thanks to God. Whatever you do, whatever you say or do, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God the Father through the Lord. This is John 15. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. That's a great word. That is a great word. I like that. So that's what Jesus says after, after the, the word of God from Paul. Let's have a look. The word of God from Paul is telling us to let the teachings of Jesus and his, his words keep on living in you. In some, in some translations it says, let the words of Christ uh, dwell in you richly. So Jesus says, if you remain in me, you're going to bear much fruit. What does James say about it? He says, humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. Paul, or Luke actually writing for Paul in Acts 20, he says this, so now brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. So the word of God will build you up. What did a wise man Solomon say? He said in Proverbs 4.20, he says, My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life, life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. So there's a wise man telling you to get the Word of God into you. In John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So that's another good reason to get into the Word, because it is actually God speaking to us. But there's more people that can give us recommendations to get into the Word. Let's see what David said in Psalm 119 verse 11. He said, I've stored up your Word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. Another good reason. Timothy says, All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. And Mary said in John 2, 5, this is Jesus' mother, uh, he said, she said to the servants, Whatever he says, you do it. So there's lots of recommendations to listen to Jesus and obey it. Jesus himself says in Matthew 4.4, 4, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And, but what does God say himself about it? During the transfiguration in Luke 9.35 or 34, while Peter was speaking, a cloud appeared and enveloped them, and they were afraid as they entered into the cloud. And a voice came from the cloud saying, This is my son whom I have chosen. Listen to him. So we've got all these very famous biblical people telling us that the word of God is very important to us. We can get washed in the word. We can get our lives transformed and changed as we take it on board. So Colin and I would encourage you, get into the word yourself. Absolutely. It is the living word and, and it's, it's meant for the spirit as well as the flesh. Meant for your spirit. Great stuff. Yeah. So down here by the river, we just to pray a blessing upon you. Father God, all those listening to us today by the river, Father, we would pray that you would touch their hearts, that you will inspire them, that you will encourage them 
to open your word and to take it on board. Put it in their heart, store it in their heart so that they can continue to walk your ways. So thank you, Lord, for the word today and we ask that you bless all people listening. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 See you later. That's a rubbish truck going past. <laughs> you have a great day. Get into his word and let the word of God get into you. Bye for now.